My name is Dave Feldman and I study uh, water resources management and policy, climate change issues, and uh, environmental policy and environmental risk. I look at the way in which the uh, problems facing the environment are really questions of political choices that we make as a society over how we manage resources and how we resolve conflicts. Water shortages, climate change, population growth, how we deplete resources really affect present and future generations and ultimately uh, our effective ability to manage these resources is really going to depend upon uh, the kinds of political decisions we make. So I lead an effort called Water UCI which is an attempt to bring together researchers and students from every department and school on the campus to better study water in a comprehensive and cross-disciplinary manner. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of talent on this campus, but one of the great challenges that we face is that the world is looking at a future that faces some real grand challenges in terms of water management. Two of those are climate change and the growth of megacities. Water UCI has three goals. The first is research that spans disciplinary boundaries. What we want to do is to bring scholars and students together from every discipline and to get them to think comprehensively about how to address our water challenges. Second, education. Uh, we seek to train tomorrow's water leaders and that means students who can think not simply as biologists or political scientists or engineers but as students of water problems and who can think about ways of spanning these boundaries. And finally, outreach. We want to reach out in our innovations to entrepreneurs and inventors so that we can get uh, our ideas and our innovations into the marketplace. People generally respond to signals. If something is a crisis, it should become expensive to obtain that commodity. Water is still, relatively speaking, at least in developed countries like the United States, fairly cheap. And because there's no real pain, and because it's readily available, people don't really think of it as being in crisis. However, if you go to developing countries where people pay a large proportion of their income for water, they get it. They realize that there really is a crisis in getting not only cheap water, but clean and plentiful water. Los Angeles, 80% of LA's water is imported, either from the Owens Valley, Northern California, or the Colorado River. The remainder comes from groundwater, or a very small percentage, about 1%, from recycled wastewater. We can educate the public to change their behavior, to adopt innovative technologies, and you can solve these problems, but it requires the concerted effort of policymakers, 